I'm Stephen Thornton. I'm a professor of physics at the University of Virginia, and I've gotten interested in energy in the last, oh, two or three years because it's in the news so much. The course that I'm teaching is all about energy, but of course what's really interesting and is important in today's society is renewable energy. Now these students that are, that are in this course, and there's 28 of them, they just want to learn about energy, and I think they realize that as citizens of the world, these are the important issues. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people know about fossil fuels, but not too many people know about wind and solar energy, and, and most of us haven't actually seen it. Wind energy is really important around coastal regions, and so around Spain and, and Portugal, they have a lot of wind, and Cadiz itself is really known for its wind farms. It's hard to believe it, but there are about a thousand wind farms in Spain. When we went out yesterday, we saw, I don't know, it seems like we saw a hundred of those wind farms. They were everywhere. They looked like they were just one big huge farm, but I know in fact that they were separate wind farms. We also had an opportunity to go to the University of Cadiz and look at a research laboratory, which was very good in itself because this, this professor, who also was a physicist, was working, doing research to make these things better. And I thought it was important that the students actually saw that there was a tremendous amount of research going on to, to develop these sources of renewable energy. Then we got to go to, to the uh, solar power plant and this one ha was able to track the sun, which means it's a very advanced uh, plant. And we had people in both of these places, in fact in both cases the managers of the facilities were there. It was really interesting to be able to compare what goes into producing it, how much money it costs, and how long it takes to get that back. And especially because it's a lot better for the environment. So it's been really interesting to learn about these things in class and then uh, to take my past knowledge that, you know, I knew about it from back home and then to go to these sites, to go to these sources of energy and to see how they work and how they're used on a day-to-day -day basis. I really think the students uh and myself in particular, learned quite a bit about how these operate. It's great for our students to come to, to, around the world to be able to see these kinds of things. I'm really glad that we were able to start with, with Europe and, and around the Mediterranean where they've embraced renewable energy a lot more. I think there's no question that we're all going to have to do it over the next 20, 30, 40 years.